elements of fly fishing is entomology. And entomology refers to the bug life that's in the rivers that we're fishing. The bug life is very important to us fly fishermen. We're trying to match the insects that we're actually seeing floating on the water or the bugs that are below the surface. I'm going to flip some rocks over in the current here to give you an idea of some of the insects that we're trying to duplicate with our flies. I grab a rock, I simply grab a rock, turn it downstream, and flip it upright. The good boulder here, which you can see a lot of little bugs coming off on my hand. This would be a little mayfly nymph right here. On the bottom of this rock, if you look really carefully, you'll see a lot of small, tiny, tiny little insects all crawling around here. And these are the little insects that the trout are eating. So get a really close idea of how small they are. The flies that we're using should be very small. Bugs, for the most part, are tiny. And that's what fish are used to seeing all day. You can see all the snails coming off on my hands as well. On this side of the rock, you see some cases. These little cases have caddis inside of them. And they're all on the bottom of these rocks. One of the most prolific insects for the trout's diet is going to be a caddis larva. Caddis are found pretty much in almost every environment where you're going to find trout. They usually live in high oxygenated small streams to big rivers. Being very prolific, the caddis hatches will bring up a lot of fish and it's going to be an important bug for you to know about. Looking at caddis, we just simply flip the rocks over on the bottom. There's a couple right in here, and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at these caddis. This is what a caddis larva looks like. This is the larva stage. It usually lives under the rocks for a full year. Sometimes they're free living, meaning that they'll just attach to the bottom side of rocks. Other times, they'll be, build these small little rock structures in which they live in. These little rock structures are under the side of the big boulders out in the river. These small caddis larvae range anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to an inch long. Most popular color would be an olive body with a black or dark head. They also range in these lighter colors from cream to tan. But keep in mind, this is one of the most prolific bugs found on trout streams. So you're going to want to know this bug and get to know it really well. This happens to be one of the largest insects. This is a stone fly. This is the adult what we call a pteranarsis or a salmon fly. This bug brings up some really big fish. And again, when you're fishing these flies, it's important to look at the underbelly to see what color the underbelly is, because that's what the fish will be looking for. The nymphal stage usually occurs for about one year. And then when the water temperature is right, which you can also look at this bug on his wing case, right in back of his head, the bug is fairly dark. The wing cases get dark when the bug is getting ready to hatch. So the green drakes should be hatching here probably within the next couple weeks.